And yeah. I don't know for a change of topic, I, I have a question for uh, Joseph. Do I have to see my facial expressions? Oh. Uh, I have a change of topic. Joseph, are you there? Oh, yeah. man. Are you there, Joseph? Yep. Okay, now, Joseph, you posted a comment about something that you alleged that I said. I'd like to read it in the room and uh, have you respond and clarify this, okay? Sure. You posted, and you you tell me if, the, if you actually posted this. It says, um, hey, just FYI, funny stuff, oh. laughing out loud. Yes, when Dawkins' delusions tells you the definition that a disembodied mind is a mind without a body, essentially is like saying a temporal change is change without time. This is not a useful definition at all. Okay. Let me, let me stop now, you. could yeah. you? Okay. Did you that write that? No, Xbox um, wrote it, and he tagged me in it because it was based on the video that um, that the conversation that me and you were having about disembodied minds, and you brought up Bolton and Bray. Oh, okay. So this was not okay. So the Xbox wrote this. You did not. Yeah, that, that's that's Xbox's objection. Okay, all right. My apologies because I, I I guess I looked at it too quickly and it looked. See, I'm not familiar with how all these tags work, but right. it, I thought that when it said plus Joe's Pierce that it was quoting. Actually, he's quote he's saying that. Did you care no, no, to comment he, on he, that he, at he, all? Or? No, no. He well, I, I I read what he wrote. Um, in mm -hmm. in in what was happening in the conversation, I agree with what he was saying because you were kind of okay. just defining okay, it as what. Well, could you tell me, have you ever heard me say that there is such a thing as a temporal change? No, no, he was using that as an example. He wasn't saying that uh, that's no, what he said. No, he said it. No, he did. I'll read it again to you. Okay. He, he said, um, he, he is like saying a temporal change is change without time. He's impugning this to me. Right, no, he's saying like, he's saying, he's saying within the conversation we were having, he used the atemporal thing as well, an example, okay, so you as, as, a simple, as a simple illustration actually, of what he thought you were doing. Actually, actually, there's a problem with that view, because temporality necessarily includes the idea of, of change. So if we were to talk about atemporal change, that would be an oxymoron, correct? Sure, but that's not, that's not the, the point he was making. Cha time, time, time entails change. Do you agree? But change does not entail time, actually. Okay. Okay. No, but that's not the does good. time does, does time good. entail <laughs> Joseph? Does time? Okay, Joseph. Does time entail time, uh, change? Oh, I'll okay. say sure. Okay. Okay. Good. So, if if somebody was to say that a temporal change is a contradiction or an oxymoron, right? Is that what Xbox is saying there, Joseph? No, no, no. What he's saying here, I have it up. So what he's saying is Dawkins' delusions tells you the definition that a disembodied mind is a mind without a body. Essentially, is like saying a temporal change is change without time. This is not a useful definition at all, like you said. So he's using, he's using, um, he's saying it's like you're saying, a, he's not saying that that's your argument. He's saying he's using that as an example to illustrate the redundancy of how you're defining a disembodied mind. How how is saying a there is a disembodied mind redundant? It's the way you were defining it in that, that conversation. You were just essentially how, repeating. Okay, did you a hear my mind, Joseph? Mind. Okay, how is somebody using the compound term disembodied mind redundant? No, no, that's not what he's <laughs> saying is redundant. He's saying your explanation of what a disembodied mind is is redundant. Is there a is there data on that? Like well, well, uh, well. Of, of course, of course, uh, oh, no. an explanation is redundant. Right. All, and that's, explanation, and that, and all, exp and, all no. explanations are, are are a form of redundancy. No, no, not not when you're trying to not when you're trying to um, make uh, sense out of out of a term or words. Right. So <clears throat> if we're if, if we're trying to define words or we're trying to, this is what this is. The, the hey, yo, MK. Of, it doesn't mean anything. It's totally cool, man. Sorry, just gonna throw that in there. If, if I tell you, if I tell you a equals two plus three, following the equal sign is a redundancy. It's a tautology. All explanations, if they're accurate and truthful, are redundant and tautologous. No. So, how is me speaking of a disembodied mind 
tautology because one could have a mind that was embodied. So where's the disembodiment? A disembodiment would refer to something that exists that has properties and attributes but do not include the attributes of physicality. But what, what we mean by disembodied mind? It, it means a mind that operates or a physical medium. Excuse me. No, no. Okay. Here's the big mistake you're making. Okay. Darwin's, I'm trying nothing... to explain to you what I'm meaning by what I'm saying. I when understand I say that. I don't think you do because you're giving me an example of something that's still physical. What we say. No. What we you're mean. Confusing. We say, let you me are... give my definition. No, 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 go, ahead. go ahead. Okay. So what what we mean, at least what I mean. I'm not going to say we. What I mean when I say disembodied mind is a functioning mind absent a physical medium. That's not what disembodied means. But that's what we mean when we use the term. Mind. Disembodied, no, a disembodied means it is something that is in operation outside of a body. Now. You're playing semantics. No, that's what disembodied means. But what 